I, let's go into your music before we even go into your book, because you have a new band now, Sea Witch. Music, uh, well, not music itself, but sound, chants, and music is a big part of my work and my work in the craft. And tell us a, a little bit about your new band. Aren't you including like chants and magic and spell working? Yes, absolutely. You know, if I if I even track back to, you know, in the 90s when I started in Deaf Effects, you know, you mentioned that in your very generous introduction of me. And even then I was writing song lyrics that I, I actually hadn't come out of the broom closet, so to speak, and written books about witchcraft. But I'd been practicing witchcraft for years. The band got successful in the 90s. So every song um, had magical lyrics. Even a song back in those days, I wrote a song called The Spiral Dance. And in the chorus, it was the wise witch wove her dreams, spinning coiled ropes of silver that wound around the trees. I mean, I was weaving this esoteric content into this mainstream rock band's lyrics. But with Sea Witch coming now full circle, you know, out of the airplane and back on a broomstick with a guitar in my hand, Sea Witch's lyrics are even more intentional than that. Um, I actually have used lyrics or created lyrics from the rituals and chants and intentional spell castings that I offer in my actually in my new book in the teen magic book that I know we'll talk about so some of those actual spells are featured in the songs plus just my good old book of shadows I mean I know you know Patty as an author yourself we have um the job of writing a book but then there's always our handwritten records and mm. even now these days typewritten records but nothing works magic like the hand the I paper almost sigil aspect of actually writing letters and communicating things and, and storing your ar archival, I guess, occult knowledge and experience in that way, in that form. So for Sea Witch, I went back through my book of shadows, my shoe boxes of notes of old little scripts from spells and rituals and things, and I wove them into these songs. And to do that in the setting of a, you know, pretty heavy rock band um, that has that very deep, uh, organic intentional you know beat and 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 uh i mean the music grabs you and i know it's all conceptual until you hear the songs but the goal of it was to really literally put spells and transformational energies into each song in a rock band and that's what we're doing and our our first uh debut ep comes out on vinyl on june 26 so pretty soon uh, depending on i know we're chatting now where when in the ether we end up going out there into the world June 26th is an important day for Sea Witch, and it drops digitally around the world as well on the same day. That is beautiful, because music does that anyway. Any rock concert, any country concert, any other concert you go to, everyone gets enraptured by it. It is the sound. It is the music. It is the words. So why not put it into something that is so magical and intentional as, as a spell working or a spell craft? That's... Ah. 